How's it going everybody? Welcome to Lunar Trading. In this video, I'll be going over my levels and plan for the stock market next week. So let's jump right into it. The S&P on the weekly time frame was down 2.5%. After that strong bearish engulfing candlestick last week, that broke us below the uptrend. Price continued to sell off, pushing us to some key support levels. This is not a good sign for any bulls in the market as price is showing weakness and it's looking like it wants to continue to go lower key levels that i'm going to be watching is the support zone from 410 to 406 and then the support zone right underneath it from 403 to 400 this is a big level that the bulls need to stay above if not then we could see price probably retrace all the way back down to around 380 to 371 for resistance keep an eye on this zone from 420 to 423 then this zone up here from 436 to 439 then that previous uptrend a lot of times price likes to come up and retest the bottom of it creating a lower high before continuing towards the downside and then also keep an eye on this downtrend that price has been following a little bit now if price is showing some strength around this first support zone and it looks like buyers are starting to step in then i'm gonna look to take a long position on mes which is the micro e-mini s p futures and see if we can possibly catch a bounce i'm not going to be too aggressive on my price targets right now on the bull side or if i'm playing long i should say because now that the trend is more in favor of the bears, I recommend just being quick on taking profits and not getting too greedy. As the saying goes, the trend is your friend. So it's important that we manage our risk to reward properly right now if we are playing long. Now if price pushes to this resistance zone, I'll look to take a short position on MES as well and see if we can catch a move maybe back down to the support zone. If we are playing short, then it's okay to be a little bit aggressive on our price targets as the trend is in our favor. Now, price begins to consolidate along these support zones. It's showing that it maybe wants to reverse. This could be a good area to start some long-term positions for your portfolio. As this is a round a 10 to 12 percent pullback from this top so this could be a good area of value to start to accumulate but i'd wait to see if bulls even step in around this area if not and price just breaks right below it then i'd wait till we touch this support zone and then i think this is also a good area of value to start to accumulate into a long position if you are more of a long-term investor as this would be around 18 almost 20 percent down from the high but this is not a good sign for the bulls like i was saying earlier if price continued to stay above this uptrend then we could have possibly seen this high get broken pretty soon but since price is has broke below it this shows a lot of momentum in favor of the bears so i do expect further downside but this support area should be pretty strong we'll see how it holds price could just slice right through it or we could see a decent bounce from it like always i'll alert any trade i take in the discord you can chat with me and over a thousand members in the community that give out their different uh, trades and investments that they're taking i'll give you guys my personal thoughts and trades and investments as well so check it out it's linked down below and subscribe to the channel if you are into these type of technical analysis videos i'm going to be doing more on crypto mainly bitcoin and ethereum as those are the top dogs in the space but i might do some altcoins as well so i appreciate any support you guys show but have a great rest of your weekend take care